Hi, I'm Dan Simmons, and I've been asked to talk for a minute, or 30 seconds, about my new novel called Drood. And this is an ARC of the book, not a hardcover, but this is 800 pages of reading pleasure, many hours of delight, but it was sort of a delight for me to write. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about the book Drood. You may have recognized the word already, because Charles Dickens's last effort at a novel his famous unfinished novel, he died about halfway through writing it, was called The Mystery of Edwin Drood. And it was such a clever mystery that more than 100 years later, about 130 years after he died, no one has worked out how he would have resolved this incredible mystery. There have been legions, armies of scholars who've taken a stab at it. There have been more than a few famous mystery writers who tried to come up with the ending of The Mystery of Edwin Drood. And they've created an ending, but it doesn't satisfy me. I'm not sure if it satisfied them. So when I decided that I wanted to write about Charles Dickens, I decided Druid was not only the title, but it would be an entire creature, perhaps metaphorical, perhaps he was real, but some frightening thing in Dickens's life. And it was based on a truly frightening incident in 1865 when he was in a terrible railway accident at Staplehurst. June 9th. And he never recovered from it, really. He survived it nicely. His was the only first-class carriage that wasn't smashed to pieces. Most of the first-class passengers were killed. He and his mistress and her mother were in a carriage that uh, they were repairing a trestle. The train ran right into the opening in the trestle, and most of the carriages were smashed, but Dickens's carriage hung there swinging, and he was able to get his, his I should say, girlfriend. We don't know if she was actually his mistress, but he was in love with her young actress named Ellen Turnham, and Mrs. Turnham, the mother, out of this dangling car. And then he went down, he, Charles Dickens, went down to help the dead and the dying. And whatever he saw down in the valley that day, that kind of violent death, it must be like surviving an uh, aircraft crash where you see not bodies, but just pieces. It was terrible for him. And his last five years, his personality changed. He, for four years, he wouldn't try to write another novel. He became obsessed with dying and violent death and murder. And he went on the road when he was afraid to travel by rail, but he did every day so he could do dozens and dozens of readings where he tried to terrify thousands of people at once. Reading The Murder of Nancy by Bill Sykes, which he made up for it, but he changed for this reading. It wasn't just out of all of a twist. And the reading itself, I've become convinced, he thought he could mesmerize, hypnotize, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000 people in these huge theaters at once. And perhaps he did, because their reaction was incredible. Not only did women faint and men just be unable to speak or stand, but the, even the reporters couldn't describe the experience of hearing Dickens, seeing Dickens perform this. So that's all in Drood. And I'll just finish with uh, the narrator of Drood is my favorite narrator of the 25 books that I've written, had published. He's Wilkie Collins, the actual historical figure, the father of mysteries with his moonstone, the grandfather of all mysteries and detective stories. But he, to me, he was a very mediocre writer, and uh, very much like Salieri and Mozart in Peter Schaeffer's brilliant play, where Salieri, who lives for music and realizes that he's mediocrity compared to Mozart's pure God-given genius, wasted on this idiot, Mozart, I'm convinced that that's the way Wilkie Collins began to think of his one-time friend his one-time collaborator, Charles Dickens. And when mediocrity is up close to genius for too many years, there's only one thing mediocrity can do, and that is kill the genius. So if you want to get some of these strands, this is my book, Drew, and I hope you find it. And if you read it, I hope you like it.